Hi, Internet. I'm here with Meadow. Say hi. Hey, say hi to the Internet. No? You want to go off on an adventure? Yeah? What do you want to do? That's why you come here. Why you beat me? I'm at my mom's uh, lovely place in Florida right now. Uh, those of you who don't know, I can't remember if I mentioned this uh, anywhere or not, but uh, I uh, needed to take a vacation. So I've been out here in Florida visiting my folks for about a week or so. You wanna go down? Huh? You wanna be on camera? You gonna dig? <laughs> She's silly and also very old. Um, this, uh, this was all kind of put on by Datafer or Kerber Dad, depending on whatever I feel like calling at the moment. And um, we, uh, we had been wanting to plan a visit for quite a while. Uh, my mom does uh, interior decoration for uh, the, uh, a whole bunch of different organizations, including the Ronald McDonald House charity. And for the last couple of years, uh, she was supposed to be honored uh, for like this kind of uh, Lifetime Achievement Award thing for all the work that she's done for them. And uh, the ceremony just kept getting pushed back over and over because of uh, COVID and everything. So what was supposed to be a visit to me come by and see like everyone in my family uh, kept getting delayed like over and over and over. And uh, I literally haven't gotten to see my family since like I think Christmas 2019. And so uh, Dadifer hit me up and he said, hey, listen, why don't you come down for a week and uh, you'll spend half the time with me and then we'll surprise your mom and, uh, and you'll go spend uh, half the time with her. So <laughs> my stepmom got a little bit of footage of, uh, of that that I'll, I'll probably toss in here somewhere. You can uh, have your own room. <laughs> Could you tell <laughs> where I was going with that? <laughs> She had no idea. My mom had no idea that I was going to be here. Uh, I came in, spent a couple days with uh, dad and my stepmom, Sue, and, uh, you know, tried to relax for a little bit, just hang out. And, uh, yeah, then she came by to uh, help them with something. And uh, then I came behind her after her line. What? Huh? You don't like the movie? We have Despicable Me on over here. It's just playing on the Halloween right now. It's your matter, baby. Come on, come here. Come here. You silly. Old fans of mine from uh, my days of doing vines might remember seeing Meadow on them quite a bit. You're so cute. You're so old and stinky, but I love you. So, uh, yeah, totally surprised my mom. That was uh, adorable and hilarious, and she was caught in 4K, <laughs> just freaking out over my being around. And, um, and now I'm, I'm with, uh, with her for the rest of the few days, uh, her and my stepdad, Kevin. Going home on, the, on Monday afternoon, then I gotta immediately get back to work. What? You just want attention. I know. Because I'm talking to the rest of the internet, not to you. Oh, yo. But, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been fun. I, I needed to, uh, to just kind of get away from everything for a little while. I am uh, doing the best job I can to not do uh, any work at all. I've had some, you know, some meetings here and there. I'm uh, rereading my uh, anger management book for the first time in the year or two. Yeah, is that right? <laughs> and um, otherwise, I'm just trying to kick back and sort of, uh, you know, not stress my body out at all before I inevitably have to get back to writing anime and recording and, you know, drawing and doing whatever else. Um, in the meantime, what else? Uh, I've watched a few movies while I've been out here. Yeah? You don't like this movie, do you? Do you? You're silly. Uh, I watched The Eternals on the uh, the flight over here. Um, conceptually, I really thought it was an incredibly cool idea and uh, all the kind of ideas of it were very interesting. Um, I think it's the first Marvel movie I've seen in a while where I just absolutely could not grasp onto any one particular character that I really liked. Um, there were some that were a little more amusing than others, but for the most part, it was... Uh, I don't know, it wasn't doing a whole lot for me, but I'm trying to get back on uh, 
the Marvel train a little bit. I've, I have not gotten to see a whole lot of the uh, Disney Plus shows. I know that I got to catch up on a bunch of them before the uh, Doctor Strange uh, sequel comes out. Uh, I think I think next month, right? Yeah, I think in May. So uh, yeah, watch that on the way here. Uh, I also watched Being the Ricardos, uh, which was the I Love Lucy uh, kind of semi documentary story. Uh, loved that. Uh, apparently, critics don't like it very much, but I thought it was fantastic. I grew up a little bit with I Love Lucy, just you know, periodically seeing episodes on. Um, Nick at Night and stuff back in the day. And uh, so I, I went in like only with like just pretty limited kind of general knowledge about, you know, how it was a big deal show in its time. But uh, no, it's really intriguing. It was, everybody's performance was great. Uh, the editing and the pacing was really phenomenal. Uh, you know, kind of cutting back and forth between different points in time and, you know, uh, different parts of uh, Lucy and Desi's history. Uh, I, I thought it was great. I, so I, I don't know how well it did or didn't do. It's funny because I even had a DVD of it sent to me, I think by the union, <laughs> for like review for like award season or something. Not that I, you know, care about that kind of stuff. But uh, I said I would get to it at some point. They happened to be on uh, Amazon because I guess it was an Amazon produced movie. But um, yeah, so that was, that was great. And yes, I did in fact see Sonic 2 with, uh, with Kerba Dad um, just yesterday, the day before I'm recording this. So... All right, I'm on my way to the airport. I'm here with Kerba Dad. So, uh, what do we think of Sonic 2? Well, it was it was fun. It was mm -hmm. interesting. Um, it's definitely a kids' movie for sure. And, um, <laughs> Thanks for stealing my opinion. Um, I think Indra's in, in Elba did a great job as um, as Knuckles. And the fire department is doing a great and job of keeping us safe. Yeah, keeping us safe. <laughs> And I didn't even know you were an Idris Elba fan. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But but it's funny because we played the games when Knuckles was like new. I know, which I is know. crazy. It, he doesn't do anything that's bad though. He's just like no. Little, he's yeah. He's, he's got like, real good taste. He's like in a movies. Denzel Washington, only he's a Brit. Yeah, yeah, right? pretty much. <laughs> um, and Jim Carrey. What can you say? Jim Carrey is Jim Carrey. You know? Yeah. Any t any character Jim Carrey plays, I see. Uh, because we spent so much time watching, watching everything he ever did. Wow, really cool person next and, to us and, in the sports car. <laughs> um, I always see mannerisms of Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Sure, sure, in, sure. In a lot of different, like when he goes into his little rants or his, yeah. just all of his movements and you know his characterizations. And uh, I guess that's why he's good because he's consistent. Yeah. And he uh, he brings that to each character, but yet it's always fresh. Yeah, you know. Like, well, and it goes yeah. to show something too, because we didn't watch the first one together. But this is one of the rare instances where he did a sequel. There's been cases where you know he's not into it, and then they'll go on and do like a second one of something without him. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. And uh, there's no full-on confirmation yet that he's going to be in the third. They're they're doing a third. Um, but uh, I certainly hope so. I mean, they left a little bit of a question mark on, uh, you know, but, you know. Special effects were good. Yeah. A little bit was kind of corny. Yeah, the humor. Yeah. What did you think of the, the way that the Sonic characters looked? Like the CG and stuff? Oh, no, I think, yeah, I think the, uh, I guess that's what, 2D? No, that's 3D. Yeah, that's yeah. 3D. It's, it's, yeah, no, yeah I mean, computer graphics. Was, I mean, the way they integrated it in was, you know, it was believable that way, but... Um, I don't know. What'd you think of the human characters? <laughs> they both suck. <laughs> Neither one was believable at all. Yeah, well, Neither. well, because I mean, Jim is such a cartoon character that he just kind of yeah. works somehow. But yeah. uh, I have a theory. I think that if not in the third one, maybe if they continue to do ones after that, I think they're going to get to a point where he's just going to put himself in like, like Robotnik will put himself in a robot body and then... Jim will just voice Robotnik or Eggman as a CG character. That's that's what I think. And then he can, you know, not have to go, you know, rip his face off with his rubbery body, uh, you know, and just go in a recording booth. But uh, that's Other just my that, thought. It was good. It was enjoyable. The yeah. Movie theater was unbelievable. Yeah. It was. We, yeah. We went to a Cinebistro, which was like a restaurant uh, movie theater fusion. And it was really, really classy. Uh, we also went during the day when there was nobody else going, <laughs> which was... Total of maybe eight of us in there. Yeah, if at all. And which was nice in terms of, like, privacy. At the same time, while I would not have wanted to be in the theater with a bunch of screaming kids, 
sometimes I feel like movies like this, the experience can be enha enhanced when you're with like a crowd that's excited and cheers the right parts kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe that could have been yeah, there was made no a little more. Enjoyable. Yeah. Oh yeah. Not for the uh, the post credits little, they little were tease nice at the leather, end. Electric leather reclining seats. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was like being home. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, you even said that was the first time you've yeah, been to the theater yeah, in yeah. how long? Uh, probably 10 years. <laughs> Woof. And it was nice to just come out of there and then sit at the bar and have a couple of sliders. Oh, yeah, we so, ate, we ate yeah. after. That's right. Yes, Sorry. It, was a, uh, it was a fun afternoon. It was a lovely experience. And fun was had by all. Yes. Well, I mean, speak for yourself. Okay. <laughs> and that's about it. Yeah. You want to you say anything uh, to your... Internet fans, yeah, my peace. Oh, beautiful. All right, bye everybody. Um, it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I uh, it's definitely better than the first for sure. Definitely one of the better uh, video game adaptation movies uh, of the handful that are out there. I would still put Detective Pikachu a bit above this in terms of story. Um, I definitely was reminded that it was a kids movie, <laughs> like. The, the constant uh, cheesiness of some of the jokes and deliveries and general things that happened. Uh, it's very much a kid's movie, but it was still enjoyable. Uh, it was great seeing the characters. I'm glad that there was a lot more emphasis put on the Sonic characters themselves. Uh, still did not care much for the screen time that were given to the human characters that I didn't care much for. But uh, that aside... Uh, it was uh, it was a pretty good story, pre pretty good usage of um, the, uh, the the different bits of lore and kind of making sense of certain things uh, out of like you know like the Master Emerald and the Chaos Emeralds and uh, the Echidna Tribe and some of these different things. Um, I did like uh, how Sonic Tails and Knuckles you know just were in the movie in general, not like that they were in it, but just the way that they were executed. I think they all got a pretty decent amount of screen time, a lot of cute moments and things. Um, I think I liked Jim Carrey as Robotnik definitely more in this one. I liked how he was even more unhinged and more ridiculous this time. Felt a lot more on brand for the character. And, uh, yeah, there's some cool action scenes and things. A lot of really, really cute, uh, Easter eggs. Um, a lot of good fan service and stuff like that. Uh, you know, like if you, if you really know Sonic well, you can see little references and things. Uh, pretty minor one is that the, uh, coffee shop that uh, Stone works at is called the Mean Bean. I was like, that's cute, I like that. Um, but uh, but it's, you know, it was a kid's movie. It's It definitely was a simple kind of story and, you know, had a little too much on the corny side for me, uh, at least from, from my current age. <laughs> but, uh, but I did appreciate all the effort that was put into it. At the moment, um, without getting into specifics, um, I'm a little frustrated about the ending credits uh, scene. Obviously, I won't spoil what it is. Um, you know, I don't think it's a spoiler to say that there is a, a post credit scene. You know, there, every movie seems to have that these days. But, uh, yeah, so I'm a little uh, about it. I get it. It's, you know, I'm, I'm sure whenever they do the next one or uh, I don't know if the, the Knuckles uh, Paramount Plus series or whatever is going to be the next thing that they do. But, uh, yeah, I had a good time with it. Um, I'm glad that I went to see it. It was really fun seeing it with Dad specifically because, uh, you know, he grew up knowing who all the uh, Sonic characters were. He loves Jim Carrey. He loves Idris Elba as well. He thought he was great Knuckles, which he was, for sure. Very happy. Huge congratulations to uh, Colleen O'Shaughnessy. It's a huge score, really major victory for voiceover actors everywhere that you got to do this movie. And, um, yeah, so otherwise, I'm, you know, just kind of kicking back and relaxing. Tomorrow I'm going to go uh, shopping with Mom for a little bit. And then uh, I have another full day of travel <laughs> to get all the way back to L.A. from Florida. But, um, oh, one more little cute thing that I got to do. Actually, just, just today. I'm recording this on a Saturday, if it wasn't obvious. Um, I, uh, I got to speak with a couple young kids just about uh, what it's like working with entertainment, uh, like a 13-year-old and a 16-year-old. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to talk to you now, too? Yeah? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? But yeah, shout out to... Uh, Josh and Rachel, if you guys see this, uh, it was great talking to you guys today, and I hope I wasn't too uh, brutally honest and <laughs> negative. I hope I have some encouragement and uh, inspiration to give to you. Yeah? Yeah, I know. You're just so encouraged and inspired by me all the time. Look at you. Get over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here.
No, you don't want to sit in my lap? No? No? Huh? Yeah? Okay. Meadow's getting cranky, so we could probably take her for a walk or give her a treat or something. Yeah, I know. What? You want to go out? Okay. That's about a good enough sign for me to head out, but um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back to, you know, trying to do some more videos and streams and things. Um, I'm going to be pretty busy when I get back. I've got uh, a few more anime projects to work on, and uh, I think that's um, some of the ones that I worked on already. Should be coming out pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that. And um, you know what? Because I haven't asked in a while. If you got any suggestions for uh, Kerblog topics or anything like that, uh, I haven't really taken any suggestions from people in a while. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be unopened to doing some again, you know, just between everything I got going on. So uh, thanks a bunch, and uh, I'll catch you all later. Bye.